Hello everybody and welcome to section 6.4. We're going to be talking about parallel lines and proportional parts, particularly of triangles today. Start with theorem 6.4, the triangle proportionality theorem. If a line is parallel to one side of a triangle and intersects the other two sides in two distinct points, then it separates these sides into segments of proportional lengths. We can see that here in this triangle, that we have BD parallel to AE. And since that is the case, if side BA over CB, that ratio would be the same as DE over CD. Let's see how this works in a quick example. Say we have triangle ACE with BD parallel to AE. If AB is 10, BC is 30, DC is 24, find DE. We set up this simple uh, two ratios equal to each other. And we can see that AB compared to CB is 10 to 30. That's just a 1 to 3 ratio. That means this segment AB is exactly 1 third of BC. That is true over here. X is 1 third of 24, and the number that's 1 third of 24 is 8. So our unknown number is 8 for side DE. We can see that again here. Triangle ACE, say BD is parallel to AE. AB is 11, CD is 18, DE is 9. Find BC. Well, here's the ratio again. X over 11 is can be set up to be uh, 18 over 9. Um, notice the uh, ratio of 18 to 9 is 2 to 1, so that means x is going to be twice 11. x is 22. Theorem 6.5, the converse of the proportionality theorem. If a line intersects two sides of a triangle and separates the sides into corresponding segments of proportional lengths, then the line is parallel to the third side. So here we're saying, we're pointing out that there is proportional parts of the triangle first, and if that is the case, then the two lines in question are parallel. Okay, um, we're going to use that theorem to decide if the two lines are parallel in each of these figures, AE parallel to BD in each case. Um, we just have to see if there's proportionality between the sides. And the first one here, 6 to 9 is proportional to 2 to 3, so in this case AE would be parallel. Uh, 3 to 1, we have a 3 to 1 ratio and a 4 to 2, those don't match up. In this figure, figure here there is um, no parallel between BD and AE. Uh, in this triangle down here in the lower left, 9 to 7, does that match up to 3 to 2? No it does not, that ratio is not equal, the two lines are not parallel. But in our last triangle we have 5 to 3, uh, compare that to 10 to 6. Yes, 10 to 6 reduces to 5 to 3. These two lines are parallel, BD and AE, in our last triangle. Okay, uh, let's define a mid-segment. A mid-segment of a triangle is a segment whose endpoints are the midpoints of two sides of a triangle. And there's a mid-segment theorem that goes with that. A mid-segment of a triangle is parallel to one side of the triangle, and the length is one half of the length of that side. So here we have a picture illustrating that very thing. So you have BD, B and D are midpoints of AC and EC respectively. BD is parallel to AE, and the BD, the mid-segment right here, is exactly one half of AE. So there's a lot of things going on with mid-segments. Not only it cuts the sides into equal halves, uh, it also is parallel to the bottom side of the triangle and is the length of the mid-segment is one half of that side. It's corollary to go with these theorems. Uh, if three or more parallel lines intersect two transversals, then they cut off the transversals proportionally. Here's a picture of that. So we're saying if those three blue lines are parallel, then all these ratios are true. The ratio um, of each segment on each each side of the transversal is proportional to the corresponding sides. Another corollary that goes with that, 6.2, if three or more parallel lines cut off congruent segments on one transversal, then they cut off congruent segments on every transversal. And I guess this corollary theorem um, speaks to the fact of the distance between the parallel lines. Um, if, if we have AB congruent to BC, then on the other side of that, DE is going to be congruent to EF. We've established the distances between these parallel lines are the same, and that'll be it'll be true on any transversal that cuts it, no matter how many you have, two, three, or four. And that's it for the lesson.